Let's conceptually analyze a tunnel with bolts. I'm Simon Noyola. The idea is to represent the design you're seeing on the screen. We're going to follow a workflow. Given a PKT, in the case of Mexico, it has a tunnel. By creating an array to symbolize the bolts, we'll build the corridor, extract the solids, and finally calculate the quantities. Let's take a look inside Civil 3D. Once inside Civil 3D, we'll display the pallets from the Mexico Country Kit. So here you can see an empty circular tunnel, which is the one placed in the design. These entities here have properties that you can modify. We can see the wall thicknesses, and we also have the tunnel radius. All right, let's close this section. Let's generate our corridor. We generate the corridor, select our alimentas. You can see here, it has a profiling. We're gonna select the tunnel section. We accept, and for the stations, we're going to place the tunnel at station 14,000, and it will end at 14,840. Done for the frequency, we're going to set it to every 20 meters on tangents. And for the incrementing curves, we leave it at 10 meters. We accept and confirm. We develop the corridor. You can see the creation of the corridor. Now, for the generation of the solid, we are going to select the corridor, extract all the regions from our corridor, and insert it into this same file. Done. We wait for it to place the three-dimensional representation of the tunnel with that solid done. Here it is on the screen. Let's change the view to the conceptual style so you can now see the bolts. These bolts are a block, a block created using an array. All right, let's switch menus. I'm going to switch to drafting and annotation within array. We select path array and select our block. I'm going to select it directly in the three-dimensional view. Done. Now, the path it will follow within this path, we have a 3D polyline here. Here you can see the placement of the bolts. We're going to change the distance between them to every five meters. Take a look at this arrangement. Done. We close our array. If we want to quantify the elements, Let's separate this element. Let's, I'm going to do an explode. Done. Within these elements, it's still a block. Let's select the ones similar to it and do a second separation. Done. It's performing the decomposition of the elements. Once we have the data, you can also check that there are no duplicate elements. And for this, I'm also going to remove this option so that it doesn't quantify the solids that were in the drawing. Okay, the point of using over overkill, overkill is so we can check which of all the objects are duplicated. We accept, let it do a complete cleanup of the project, of the drawing. Done, it removed 36 duplicate elements. Now we're going to count using count throughout the entire model to find the bold blocks. Here we have these blocks. And we're going to generate a table. We select the element, accept. We're going to place it either in a view or in the project there. You can see it, OK? In the floor plan, we're going to position to, to locate our table. I'm going to select it so I know where it is it's at this point. OK, let's take a look. Here we have 2,029 bolts within the project. Regarding the tunnel solids, Remember that since they were extracted through the corridor, we have properties within the data, which you'll see here on the screen. Let's select it extended data. Here you can see the volumetrics. All right. This workflow, as you can see, was a standard or manual workflow. Later on, you can customize a, a routine in Dynamo to quantify and also align the bolts in your tunnel. Thank you. I'm Simon Noyola, and I'll see you next time.